Solution Products is Vision Lino, uh, which is the most complete point cloud solution on the market. Vision Lino is the point cloud processing software, um, complete with uh, spherical imagery integration. If you if you have those that information, uh, you can combine aerial, terrestrial, and mobile scans all into one scan. Uh, it's a standalone desktop application. Uh, we can include pretty much an infinite number of points into a project because of our innovative uh, indexing system. Uh, you can import and, and, and export LAS, LAZ, PTS, E57, and numerous proprietary scanner formats. Uh, we have a scan to BIM tool which allows you to detect all elements in your point cloud and send them to a BIM format. Uh, we have an object recognition tool for detecting objects in an indoor and an outdoor scene. Uh, you can have secure web sharing of your point cloud uh, directly on the web with any web browser. Uh, we have multiple analysis tools. So, so without any further ado, I'll just show you quickly some of these features uh, in a more live demonstration. So here I have a um, mobile point cloud uh, scan that was then. Um, whenever, I'm, I'm also going to show some of our newer features because honestly uh, 10 minutes isn't long enough to show everything that, that we do. But I'm just going to show some of our newer features that we've integrated in the past few months. So here we have a, a whole list of spherical images that we can uh, view. If all you need is your spherical images taken alongside your scan and if you have your your positioning file with your uh, position and orientation of your images, you can integrate them into your point cloud. Uh, you can visualize these uh, spherical images directly in the point cloud and you can add a transparency if you want to see the point cloud underneath. Uh, these images can be adjusted, adjusted as needed. Uh, we've developed a, a couple of extra tools if you have your spherical images included. So if you want to create an image directly from your point cloud, let's say you don't have uh, spherical images, you can still create them. Uh, if you don't have the RGB information in your point cloud, you can add that as well. So we have tools to colorize the point cloud from your images. And we also have a uh, photogrammetry tool which allows you to um, pick a point uh, in case you have a, a shadow area uh, beneath the point cloud, if you have, uh, if you see a point in two separate images, you can create a um, a cocoa point simply from the two photogrammetry, uh, the two photos, creating a point by photogrammetry. Another interesting feature that we've added just recently is um, our uh, annotations. Uh, Little feature. Uh, what this does is it adds a, a, a mark on your point cloud and you can therefore add information to your point cloud, so setting a view to that uh, annotation. And you can attach things like images and PDFs, uh, a web link, for instance, if, if you want to uh, connect uh, the, your annotation to a website, for instance. And what this does is um, if I was to export my point cloud to my web sharing format, so we've, de we've developed, we've based um, our, our web sharing format off of Poetry. We've added a lot, added a lot of uh, extra features to the Poetry format, which makes it really, really interesting to use. So here I have my same project viewed in the, in the web, web share, uh, on, just on my basic, uh, web browser. So you just connect to the internet, you can upload your point cloud to a server, for instance, and uh, share your point clouds online. This allows easy access for your clients to, to their point clouds. And here we can see, in, well, first of all, any measurements that I may have done in the Vision LiDAR will be brought into your, your, uh, your web sharing format. Another thing that's interesting is those annotations that we created earlier. Are, are include the, the descriptions that I've added as well as those images that I included into the, uh, 
into the annotation. So if you want to view uh, the photos directly, you can do so directly online. And here, for instance, also I have attached a PDF. So I used uh, one of our analysis tools to create a PDF of a report, and I included it in, into my uh, web share format. So those are some of the interesting features. Also, I was speaking about the spherical imagery. Uh, clients can access the spherical imagery quite easily as well. So simply by clicking on a spherical image here on the directly on the web share, uh, your clients can also access your spherical imagery uh, directly. So those are some of the more interesting features that we've developed just recently. I don't have much more time here. I'm just going to quickly show you some of the uh, scan to BIM tools that we've developed. Uh, now, I, I was speaking a bit earlier about our uh, object recognition tools. So, in Vision LiDAR, if you were to, de to detect something like a wall and classify it to a separate class and perhaps uh, classify also the ground with some of our automatic detection tools, we could use our object recognition tool to uh, detect things like uh, windows and doors, for instance, to create uh, clusters, what we call clusters. Basically, these, these clusters are groupings of points, which we can, afterwards, we can classify and uh, filter through by their dimensions. And these, these boxes are going to be the basis of when I want to create my IFC format, so it's, it's an exchange format for uh, BIM, BIM, BIM modelization software. So once I want to create and build my IFC format, I can use these uh, objects that I've detected using my object recognition tool to build my IFC format. So really, very quickly, uh, just to, to show you an example of what this would look like in more of a, a BIM type uh, setting. So this is my very same building, but uh, exported to a IFC format in a, a building information modeling uh, type setting. 